Assalamu alaikum. alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. We have this black apologist. Y'all know who God Logic is, the, the dude who was chasing down Sheikh Uthman Farouk for months and months and months. And that's exactly how he got famous. Nobody would know who he, who he was if he didn't run down Sheikh Uthman Farouk for months and get all these clips and put on his channel. And that, that's pretty much how we got famous. Remember we told you the, the blueprint? That was a blueprint for him. So now he, he puts out a, a video. Palestinian Muslim learns Muhammad sold black slaves. Okay, so we're about to watch this, y'all. What, what is, I need a reason why you said that, like, Islam is peace. Everywhere you look at it is peace. Everywhere? Anywhere you look at it is peace. Okay. Do you, do you believe that it's, do you believe that it's peace? To the African-American color of like that. Why did Muhammad have people of the African-American color as slaves then? I'll tell you what, in one incident, there was two or three or four slaves that they were taken, but they were not really black slaves. They were slaves because slaves were not just blacks. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking about the black slaves that Muhammad bought and sold off. Why, why did he, why was he but buying he and selling off black slaves? He had, he had few slaves. Some of them are white. Some of them are black. Now he that exchanged a black slave for. with two slaves that they were captured in a war. No, no, so no, 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 that, that, of, no, that never happened. He sold two black slaves for one non-black slave. He exchanged them for one. Yeah, so he sold or he bought the one slave, the one, the one well, non-black slave for, hold on, please, 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 if I can, if I can finish. The Hadith literally says that he bought him, bought the non-black slave for two, for two black slaves. Bring right. that up. I can assure you that is not true. Sure. He exchanged, he freed one slave. Okay. He see, see what, I, what I'm saying about the, the biscuit foreigners? I'm sorry to say it like that, you know? See what I'm saying? If you don't know what you're talking about, then why you come on these channels giving these guys material? Just do me a favor. Shut up! Don't say anything. Just don't come on these channels, bro. You can tell by the accent it's, it's some foreigner from somewhere coming on God Logic channel, making them rich and stuff. Just don't say, you don't have to come on. Remain triggered by yourself. Don't come in and make, make the situation worse and make this dude rich, okay? And now he clipping the video and putting it out there. But anyways, I digress. Let's watch this, y'all. Freed him from his no, he didn't. Uh, 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 owner at the time. No, he didn't. Why would he, why would he listen? He's not a bad businessman. He's not stupid either. I would not exchange one for two or two for one. Well, that's the cost. The, co the cost. The cost was uh, that a non-black slave was worth higher and worth more. Shut up! Just be quiet. Just be quiet. You don't have to say anything, bro. Anyways, keep watching. Than a black slave. That's the point. That's the racism they're, there. They're both black. What are you talking about? No, they were not black. Okay, well, let's pull up the hadith and see. All right, Sunan Anasai 4184, it says, A slave came and pledged to the Prophet to immigrate, and the Prophet did not realize, and the Prophet did not realize that he was, that he was a slave. Excuse me. Then his master, let me share my screen on YouTube so you guys can see it as well. I mean, you guys already know this stuff, but, you know, for those who are just seeing this for the first time, there you go. Then his master came looking for him. The Prophet said, sell him to me. And he, the Prophet, bought him, literally where I'm reading off the page, bought him for two black slaves. Then he did not accept the pledge from anyone until he asked, is he a slave? So Muhammad was buying and selling black slaves, man. Brother, that's mistranslated. I can assure you that. Mistranslated? You see what I'm saying? First of all, it's not a mistranslation, bro. That's an actual hadith. The hadith is authentic. But because you see these biscuit Muslims, they just make things worse because they can't even understand, read things in context. First, the brother, he's saying that, that oh, the hadith is not real. It's a mistranslation. It's not a mistranslation, bro. The hadith is real. What is going on here is because your lack of knowledge you yourself are making god logic look like a genius and anybody can look like a genius if they're talking to a bunch of imbeciles sorry to say like that bro you don't have to go on his channel if you don't know you can say i don't know you know that right but let's keep watching let's keep watching y'all that's not how it is in arabia yeah, that's not how it that's is exactly how it is bro. any arabic person to translate what you just said mind mind you god logic he don't know arabic right but he knows enough Arabic to make these ignoramuses look like imbeciles, which they in fact are. Okay? You don't need to, to come on a channel like this and do this stuff. But don't worry. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Don't worry. We got smoke. We got smoke. Know the hadith, and he will tell you exactly what I'm telling you. For sure, yeah. Let me, let me, let me see. Any, any Arabic speakers in here? Let's do that. See, he just admitted he don't any know Arabic. Arabic speakers here. Paul Bishop or... Any of my any any of my Arab, Arab speaking brothers and sisters, please come on up. They're going to they're going to switch the words. Arab Christians, they're gonna switch. You the said words any too. Arab person, any person that speaks any Arabic. Arab. I think that every Arab, probably an Arab Muslim, might try to do what you're doing, which is changing the words of the text. I think we need a non-biased person here. It Thank you for the super chat, T Dub. The filthy. You see what's going on here? They do like family. 
Let me let me explain something to y'all. Okay, they can't get rich without your participation. Nobody's forcing you to come on these channels and do this stuff. You're making Islam look very, very bad because even you don't know the context of the Hadith. And because you are ignorant, you are ignorant of the history of the transatlantic slave trade. And when they superimpose the black experience of Islam, you ain't got no answers. And ironically enough, the answer is right there in the very Hadith that he's quoting. That's the ironic thing about it. Deeth is proving the total opposite of what God logic is actually trying to say in the very same hadith. This is what you see, man, there's a massive, there's a world of difference between people who actually read Quran and read a hadith and people who listen to YouTubers. It's a world of difference, bro. You ain't ever studied Islam, but you're gonna give answers on behalf of Islam. Why are you becoming the representative for us all over, all over social media and stuff and making a massive gas in public and making these people very rich? So this is a hadith. This one here is in Sahih Muslim. Okay. Like I said, the hadith is authentic. Jabber, who said that they came to a slave and pledged allegiance to Allah's apostle on Hijrah. So he came to the Prophet Sallallahu to make Hijrah on his migration, but he didn't know they was a slave. Then there came his master to demand him back. Whereupon Allah's apostle said, sell him to me. And he bought him for two black slaves. And he did not afterwards take allegiance from anyone until he had asked him whether he was a slave or a free man. And that's exactly what it says in Arabic. The question y'all should be asking at this point in time is that, is this hadith a proof for racial slavery, or is it a proof for slavery as a general construct? Name one time in the history of a post-Christian transatlantic slave trade, this chattel slavery, this devilish chattel slavery ever, where a white slave was traded for any type of black slave, any amount of black slaves. And it doesn't even say the slave is right white anyways. We don't know the color of the slave that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi bought him for. What we know is that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi bought him not because he was white but because he was a believer where in any of these hadith that they are accusing the prophet sallam of the racial slavery the devilish racial slavery that 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 is well documented with christianity where does it mention the alleged race of the slave that is coming to him the reason why the number two is mentioned is because he wanted to free the believers, so he gave two slaves to receive one believing slave. They are the ones who are inserting black in it, right, trying to make it look like a racial thing. If they want to make it a racial thing, they have to use a racial context, correct? Does anybody know what color the slave coming to the Prophet Sallallahu was? Did he mention that? Yes or no? Where did he mention the color of the slave coming to him? But when you do wickedness, you see, here's the thing, family. The entire Hadith is a full refutation of what this man is trying to prove. It's a whole refutation. Of what trying, if you are saying that, in fact, the slave coming to him was white, that what you are saying that in this time you had black slaves, you had white slaves. Was that going on in the transatlantic slave trade? Yes or no? Do you see why knowledge is important? The context of this Hadith is that the Prophet Sallallahu he was giving more in terms of the transaction to free a believer. You get it? You don't need to change the entire religion to pacify a Christian apologist. Why are you out here sweating and tripping and twitching and twirling over, over a, a Christian apologist? Why you got to do that? By your own logic, you are saying that there were white slaves at the time of the prophet, say Salim. That's your logic. We didn't insert that. You are the ones who are reading this hadith and inserting white in it for the slave that is asking for his freedom. And if we accept your logic, then by your very logic, there is no racial slavery going on at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Slavery is slavery, which it has been for thousands of years. The first people in the history to make slavery a racial thing were white Christians. The biscuit tree is off the charts, man. Folks like God Logic, see, this is why they can't talk to people like us. You are not fit for this game. They can't talk to people like us because we know what we're talking about. We, we ain't out here, you know, twitching and twirling and twerking 
trying to make excuses where there, where there, there is actually no excuse. Now, let's say, for example, they want to make this hadith part and parcel with the devilish chattel slavery that Christians not only started, but use the Bible itself, well-documented, in order to permanently keep black folk within slavery from the cradle to the grave, including their children. Then they are the ones who have to prove that, correct? We don't have to prove anything. We don't have to prove a, a thing. And remember we said that these folks, they don't quote the Bible. You will never, ever, 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 ever find them proving their points with the Bible because that's not their job. Their job is to poke holes into the Quran and the Sunnah. So when an ignoramus run to them, like this brother, I don't know why he came, like, why y'all do that? I don't get it, man. It don't make no sense. You don't know anything about Islam, but you want to come and defend Islam at the same time? You would think that you would, you would have enough pride and self-respect that before you even speak about Islam, you would actually know something about the topic that you want to talk about first. Before you go on a public platform and speak for all of us and just randomly accuse, okay, folks who, who are quoting an entire hadith with its proper meaning, but out of context. You think you have enough self-respect to say, you know what, I don't know. I have to ask somebody who knows. You don't have the self-respect to do that. You want to accuse them, no, 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 no. You're lying, blah, blah, blah. The word doesn't say this. What, like, like, what, are, you, what, are, you, what are y'all doing, man? What are y'all really doing? Slavery in world history only became a racial social construct with Christianity in the 1600s, 1600s rather, which is something that we covered so many times on this channel with the receipts. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump.